made our own barn doors. We found one foot by six foot tall unfinished pine board from Lowe's, sanded them down, filled in the rough spots with some wood putty. Coated them with kills in preparing for painting. After several coats of kills, we covered them with paint that we had been using for the cabinets, the chalk paint. That footage is missing. Sorry. I covered them with the chalk paint in a just one base color, um, a gray that we had been using. And then after that dried, I dry brushed the darker charcoal color on top of there to give the wood an old look. We painted some 1x4 and split the 1x4 for trim. Again, using the chalk paint and then going back over it and dry brushing with the black or charcoal, darker gray, to cause the wood to look older. We then poly coated everything and then it was time to assemble. find the slide bar that we needed. So Jeff found aluminum measuring sticks from Harbor Freight and painted them black. We made our own pulleys, but they didn't work as planned, so they were later replaced with pulleys that he purchased from Amazon. To hang the doors, Jeff drilled a hole in the wall and put threaded rod through on both ends and in the center.
here's Jeff to show you our finished DIY barn doors for under $60. Alright guys, there's the finished doors. It's sort of hard to get a shot of them. The hallway's so narrow. But that's how they turned out. Put in some little guides down there. And our, our rollers. As I mentioned, I end up changing out my homemade rollers for these little pulley rollers. And uh, just grab it and slide it open here. It does better if you do it up here. And bam, there it is. Slide open. And from the inside, I put these little pull rings. And I pull there. I need to do some touch up work that I never finished. And then when you need to get out, bam, there you go. Homemade barn doors.